And hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So guys, use this CHF, I need to close this trade. One, two, three, boom! Ah, uh, okay, so 500, so 20, so, uh, okay, so nearly 30% return on my, I actually want to, uh, around 35. Anyway, so around 30% return on my investment, and now as you can see, the price is reversing. This is a USD CHF trade, the trade, the signal that we provided to you guys. So the take profit was 9, uh, 97860, okay, 97860, that's what the take profit for 1, 2, uh, so I took it, I, I exited really, really uh, early because I took this signal really, really late. However, guys, this was a buy signal for, uh, yeah, so for USD CHF at 12.36 p.m. just before lunchtime today. And as you can see, this was a really, really nice signal and, uh, you know, the trend kind of continues to go up. But, you know, guys, you know, I, I exited my trade. This is my quick scalping trade. So let me just explain you how we came up with this trade. Why did we send this particular signal in our signals group? And guys, and how you can join us too as if you want, okay? Hey, what's up, guys? So stay tuned, guys. First of all, okay, as you know, we do technical analysis from the bigger time frames. So step number one, we obviously, you know, we should, we should check daily charts. And what do we see on a daily chart? Well, we see on a daily chart that the USD CHF, you know, is touching, is touching the support, support area already, you know, three days, okay, last three days. So uh, on the 24th of April, so today is 27th, there is no, there are, there is no Forex trading over the weekends, as you know, so 24th and 23rd. In here so then what we do is of course we look at the smaller time frames and when you take a look at the next time frame which is for our time frame what do we see this you know look look at this so there's no questions asked okay so this is a really really important the resistance zone here broke out you know and now it's support okay so what you're gonna what do you think guys if something is going to, and is going to touch this really really major support the major support is daily and and a four hour chart on a daily, well, it's quite choppy on a daily. You can't see much on a daily, right? On a daily, you can see that the that this you know that the price was bouncing from this point forward three days. No, that doesn't doesn't mean mean as much because but this was a scalping you know quick scalping trade. So for quick scalping trades, we can't really analyze daily charts. So let's go to the next one. And on a four hour chart, what do we see? Yes, on a four hour chart, we can clearly see that uh, this is a really really important resistance here. Was a resistance here, right? here as well okay and the price broke through and it became our support and what's ha what's happening when the price touch support it bounces back up that was one of the reasons why we gave you know a buy signal you know why, why we confidently gave the buy signal also we gave the buy signal with the with the, with, with, the, with the three take profit level so uh, yeah two take profit levels sorry but the thing is this that uh, let's take a look at the one hour chart see look at the one hour chart Look how beautifully we can see this support area. So what, we, what I'm gonna do now is if I'm gonna see the price bouncing here and going back down again, I would most likely give you another buy signal whenever the USD CHF is gonna reach this 0.97208, right? I mean, it makes sense, right? Support resistance areas. Uh, and now, if you, if you are a newbie and you have really, really big difficulty, you know, to find these support resistance areas, I'm going to show you the next thing that we, you know, we, we confirmed this with. You can confirm this also with the Fibonacci retracement. When you go, so go to the one hour chart, okay? Uh, no, no, go to the, so this is the one hour chart, okay? Let's zoom in and let's place Fibonacci retracement. So click here on where it says FIV retracement. F5 and Ashi retracement is going to give us support resistance and all many many other pivot areas and pivot points. We're looking for a support resistance for SNR. How we place it again? Place it from the highest to the lowest point, from the left to the right. Again, again, again. I know, guys, there are many, many different ways how you can use Fibonacci. You know, on stocks you can use Fibonacci in different way. You know, again, uh, it, there is there are so Fibonacci retracement is so complex, guys, because it can be used in many, many different ways, and it can give you so many confirmations as well as it can give you of wrong confirmations. But one of the easiest ways how how to use it is simply go to the left to the right from the highest to the lowest point. So I will go up to where we send the signal, so up to, here, up to here, so from the highest to the lowest point, about 12.30, let's see, around, around here, okay. And what we see, again, we, we, we don't see much difference, okay, let me just delete the support point. 
You see this this support this support area guys which we placed on a daily and one four hour chart. And what we see on the Fibonacci, Fibonacci clearly say, you know clearly says that this is our really really important support area, okay, which means the price is gonna go up. When we also place our support resistance manual, you know, uh, manual lines, the price is suggesting that this is a really really important support area. Let me take a look at the hourly again. So anyway, so long story short, you know, whenever you see that the resistance is, an, uh, sorry, whenever you see that the support is being touched, you know, on a bigger time frames, that's your indication for a trade. And that was one of, one of the indications why we also give you this buy signal. So uh, nearly 30% in one hour, not bad, you know, even though it wasn't the best exit I made, as you can see, you know, it wasn't the best exit. Uh, but guys, yeah, but don't overcomplicate your trading. So one of the best easiest ways is simply look at a daily chart, four hour chart, place your support resistance by using Fibonacci, then look at one hour chart to see if it's touching the support again, if it is, make a buy trade, if it's touching the resistance again, make a sell trade, okay, based on those price, price actions, but make sure that you are watching the patterns, watch the momentum, and also make sure that you always watch smaller time frames, which I showed you in my other videos, to find the best entries and best exits. So for example, this is my entry. I know that my exit for buy trade should be a little bit below next resistance, which is around where this area, sorry, around this, so this is my resistance, so, should, so should, my exit should be around this, this, these areas, okay? And for the sale, if I make sale from here, of course my entry should be, my exit should be a little bit above the next support, which you already know, guys, because you know that the price is gonna go up. So guys, if you're my Academy member, you know, uh, then you already know this, but if you're a newbie, guys, please make sure you watch this video again, and please don't overcomplicate your trading, and please make sure that you understand how to place support resistance, and that they are really important pivot points, pivot areas, but if you don't have any understanding how to do that, you also know that you can use Fibonacci retracement, this really, really easy to use tool, okay? Uh, I'll watch my other videos about Fibonacci retracement, and Fibonacci retracement is going to help you to identify those pivot points for support and resistance. Yeah, guys, and if you want to follow my, our signals and follow our trades, and to, if you want to learn all my trading strategies that I have not talked about on my YouTube channel, then you are welcome to join my academy. The link will be below in the video, but most importantly guys, okay, don't, you know, train blindly, okay, and if you need help in trading, please email me and contact me and I will try to help you as much as I can, but don't trade blindly, stay safe, I love you all, please like and subscribe to my channel and share my channel to anybody who might be interested to become successful together at home, but yes guys, trade safely, trade responsibly, I love you all and see you again on the next time guys, so I know nothing special, okay, 30% uh, return on my investment, but again, 600 euro, you know, was, 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 is not bad in one hour, okay, from one, one trade, I mean, we sent many signals. Thanks guys, and see you again next time, bye-bye.